In 2017, Tracy Gabriel was desperate to help get her family out of poverty when a close friend introduced her to a so-called madam, an older woman who she says lured younger girls into sex trafficking. Gabriel says the woman promised her a job in France but instead smuggled her to Libya for prostitution. She barely survived the journey. If your water got finished, you will just die. And that is what the, that is what really going to happen because nobody will want to sacrifice his water to give to you. And so you will sit with your neighbor, you find out that the next neighbor with you is dead. To be freed, Gabriel was required to pay back the woman about forty thousand dollars. She worked as a prostitute in Libya for six months before she could escape. They call it connections in Libya, but it's a prostitution house where different men came to come and carry you. Don't they have to? Then you'll be paying them. They will be forcing you, beating you. Don't what you don't want to do. The UN says Nigeria is a major source, transit, and destination for women and children subjected to human trafficking in Africa. Nigeria's National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, or NAPTIP, says 61% of human trafficking cases occur in country, while 39% happen abroad. In terms of trends and patterns, we see an increase of trafficking in persons for forced prostitution and other forms of sexual exploitation, and a lot of trafficking for um, labor exploitation. In two decades, NAPTIP says it has rescued nearly 22,000 victims of human trafficking, but has convicted only about 600 offenders. Waziriazi says some witnesses believe traffickers are just trying to help the victims. There are cases where um, communities, individuals don't want to cooperate with us because they feel um, the, the trafficker is trying to help mainly because of the ignorance and because they don't know what it entails. So that has seriously stifled our investigative and um, prosecutorial um, rates. The non-profit Devatop Center for Africa Development is training teachers and caregivers to teach others in their communities how to use technology to identify human traffickers and report cases. Right now, we are, they are now using social media. So online human trafficking is an evolving a form of trafficking that has you know, been taking place over the last few years. We are deploying technology known as Tokam app, which we are using to gather reports and respond to cases of trafficking. While they find new ways to fight human trafficking, Oswego says those guilty of the crime are looking for creative ways to keep exploiting victims. Timothy Obiezu for VOA News, Abuja, Nigeria.